Have you ever been curious what a Founders Edition GPU is? Well, you're in luck. Today I'm going to tell you exactly what it is and why it's most likely the GPU that you should go for. It's going to be available in most of the different lineup options of with NVIDIA RTX 3000. I'm going to tell you what to expect performance-wise, pricing, availability, and why it may definitely be the choice for you. So let's get started. The NVIDIA Founders Edition GPU is made directly by NVIDIA. And to make it clear and simple, it's either a Founders Edition GPU or it's going to be a third party AIB, meaning that NVIDIA will sell the PCB and the GPU itself to a company like EVGA or ASUS or MSI or a variety of other third party AIBs. And then they're going to slap their own cooler on it. Typically, it's going to be bigger than the Founders Edition. It may have much more RGB and it's going to have sort of the aesthetics of that particular brand. Now, a little history lesson. In the past, Founder Edition GPUs typically just had a blower style cooler. Take the 1080 Ti for example. If you got in a time machine and went back and asked a 1080 Ti buyer, well first you should tell them hold on to that GPU. It's going to be worth even more in 2022. Would you get the Founders Edition or a third party AIB like an Asus Strix? nine out of 10 people at that time most likely would tell you that they're going to get sort of the third party AIB because the 1080 Ti was only available in a blower style cooler because it typically ran hotter and louder than a third party AIB GPU. If you fast forward a little bit, 2080 Ti now came with two fans and the cooling was considerably better. If you went back in time and asked, would you get the Founders Edition or a third party AIB, you may have a lot more mixed reactions because that started to become really really good. So now we enter the RTX 3000 Founders Edition GPU. These have what is now an iconic design, very high build quality. If you compare these to most other third-party AIB GPUs, you're going to really see how heavy they are and how good they feel as most other GPUs, even expensive and well-built GPUs, do feel like they have more plastic than the particular Founders Edition. So the cooling design is much different now. It's not going to be a one fan or two fan or three fan, not that simple. For the higher end GPUs like the RTX 3080 and 3090, it's going to be a pass through design with a fan on the bottom, fan on top. Definitely a very innovative look and an innovative way to really pass through air. The cooler certainly is fairly efficient. Now, it's not going to match a really good third party AIB cooler. Take like a 4 to 1 3 3090 Ti. That's a three and a half slot cooler. Something like that is just way too beefy. You're never going to be able to match it with even a 3090 Ti cooler. Those are are just going to be a little bit more compromised because of the smaller space but for most other gpus they tend to do pretty good definitely better than the blower style gpus of old and you get this really unique design to go along with it that's going to be one of the main factors if you compare every gpu out in the market they all pretty much look very similar with the two or three fan design the founder editions they certainly will look completely different than anything else even going back to the 1080 ti they certainly look very very unique and as I mentioned before, build quality, in my opinion, is the best in the Founder Edition GPUs. They're just built really, really well. Now, let's go into another reason why you may actually want a Founder's Edition price. These are the only GPUs on the market that never suffered the inflation and the much higher pricing from third party AIBs because they were sold by NVIDIA directly to Best Buy in an agreement, at least in the US market, that they would remain at their original MSRP. That means that even up until today, if you are lucky enough to catch either a Best Buy drop or sometimes they'll have it in the store. There's a little app trick where you can see if it's in stock or not. If you guys take a look back at my previous videos, I'll explain how to do that. Today's video is brought to you by InnoCN. This is going to be a 4K monitor, 27 inch. Now, this is not specifically a gaming monitor. It's going to be for content creation. It has a beautiful IPS panel. It's going to have beautiful sRGB colors as well as the perfect 27 inch size to have on your desk especially if you do two of them and better yet it's considerably cheaper than most other 4k monitors on the market coming in at well below $400 I compared it side by side with an LG 5k ultra fine display and I was actually really pleasantly surprised at a fraction of the price just how nice sharp and colorful that the image looked like so if you're looking for a monitor for content creation remember to check out the link in the description below but you're still going to find the original founders edition for their MSRP for example $399 3060 Ti, 3070, 499. I know various people that even within the last several weeks have been able to get them at these prices at Best Buy locations around the country. So even
even with GPU prices going down a considerable amount compared to last year, these are still gonna be the bottom cheapest ones that you can get. Big reason people like them, not only with the overall cheaper price, typically they retain their value very well because most of the Founder Editions are the only ones that are not LHR, meaning light hash rate. There are some exceptions, however. 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti are always light hash rate, even Founder's Edition. But 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080, and of course the 3090 are never going to be LHR, meaning that even if you're a gamer, you're going to be able to trade or resell this GPU in the future, as long as Ethereum stays active, for a much higher price than a regular 3080 or 3070 that happens to be LHR. So that's definitely a little hidden bonus there that definitely makes the Founder Editions much more attractive in the overall market. Even if you're not using it yourself for cryptocurrency mining, it just means it's going to be worth more than a comparable GPU that just happens to be LHR. Here are some other advantages of the Founder Edition GPUs. Typically, they're going to be pretty small, meaning that mini ITX builds are much easier to do with these GPUs. Even the really big 3090, which is also big in the Founder's Edition, is typically going to be a smaller GPU than a comparable uh, GPU like a 4013 or an Asus Strix. It's just going to be smaller almost in every dimension, and it's still pretty thick, but you're going to be able to fit it in smaller spaces considerably easier. Not to mention that at least the 3090 Founder's Edition is only two 8 pins, while most of the more powerful 3090s will be three 8 pins, and that can make a difference if you have maybe a little bit smaller power supply or you don't want to run a bunch of cables. Keep in mind the 3090 Ti shares pretty much the same cooler design as the 3090, but now there's a new power connector and you need three 8 pins even on the Founders Edition, and typically it does seem to run a little bit cooler just because the VRAM is just on one side instead of on two sides for the 3090 Ti. So if you're in the market for that one, definitely probably skip the 3090 at this point unless you get it for 1500 bucks much better just to get the updated 3090 ti if they're roughly the same prices in the market all right so those are most of the differences between a founder's edition and a third-party aib cooler now keep in mind that vram issues popped up pretty much in all types of gpu designs even third-party aib models that are typically very good had hot running vram um, typically this was due to bad thermal pad application from the factory some were fixed and there were many founder edition gpus that maybe had this problem as well it seems like lately at least that problem is a little bit better and even the 3090 ti does seem to be at least thermally a little bit better on average with gpus like the 4013 so that's certainly something to keep in mind all right guys so let me know down below when you're shopping for a gpu would you specifically go after a founder's edition i mean it does look like it's an iconic nvidia product while the other third-party aibs as cool as they may look with rgb and different accents and different looks that you can have for your case they certainly don't have quite the build quality of a founder edition gpu so let me know what you think remember to smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video